Scott Poor, a Kansas City native, had once been entrenched in the corporate world. However, his passion for animals led him to leave that life behind to focus on improving the welfare of dogs across the country. He founded Mission Driven, an organization dedicated to supporting animal shelters through fundraising and raising awareness about adoption. Scott's mission was clear, to make a tangible difference in the lives of shelter animals, particularly those who had been overlooked for extended periods. Every day, Scott visited local shelters to spend time with the animals, offering companionship and affection. He believed that his presence could help keep their spirits up while they awaited adoption. One of his favorite activities was reading books to the dogs, hoping the sound of his voice would provide comfort and alleviate their loneliness. Queen, a lovable three-year-old terrier mix, had captured Scott's heart from the moment he met her. Despite her friendly demeanor and gentle nature, she had been consistently passed over by potential adopters. For over a year, Scott visited Queen daily, forming a deep bond with her. He watched as her initial excitement waned and a quiet sadness settled in her eyes. Recognizing the detrimental effect that prolonged shelter life was having on her mental health, Scott decided that he needed to take drastic action. He conceived an unorthodox plan. If Queen couldn't find a home, he would bring a sense of home to her by moving into the shelter himself. Scott believed that his constant presence would provide Queen with the companionship she desperately needed and at the same time generate publicity to increase her chances of adoption. His hope was that the story of a man moving into a shelter to live with a long-term resident would capture the public's attention and touch their hearts. With determination, Scott prepared for his move. In a lighthearted video posted on Instagram, he wheeled a small suitcase into the shelter, announcing his intention to stay with Queen until she found a forever home. He didn't pack much, just the essentials, anticipating that his stay would be brief because he was confident that his plan would work quickly. The news of Scott's move spread rapidly. Local media outlets picked up the story, intrigued by his commitment. Reporters and camera crews descended upon the shelter to document this unique situation. Scott participated in numerous interviews, passionately speaking about Queen and the plight of long-term shelter animals. He emphasized the importance of adoption and the joy that rescue animals could bring into people's lives. The first day was a whirlwind of media attention. Scott and Queen navigated the constant buzz of activity, with Queen often peeking curiously at the cameras. Despite the exhausting schedule, Scott remained focused on his mission. He knew that every interview and news segment increased the likelihood that someone would fall in love with Queen and offer her a home. As evening fell, the shelter quieted down. Scott and Queen settled into her modest room for the night. With limited space and amenities, Scott unrolled a sleeping bag on the concrete floor beside Queen's bed. The accommodations were far from comfortable, the hard floor made sleep difficult, and the sounds of other animals echoed through the night. However, Scott was undeterred. The thought of being there for Queen provided him with a sense of purpose that overshadowed any physical discomfort. The public responded enthusiastically. Messages of support poured in from around the world, and many people expressed interest in adopting Queen or other long-term shelter animals. Despite the surge in attention, finding the right home for Queen proved more challenging than expected. Several potential adopters visited the shelter, but none were the perfect match. Scott remained patient, understanding that it was crucial for Queen to find a family that truly appreciated her. In the meantime, he focused on making her environment as pleasant as possible. To brighten up Queen's room, Scott brought in personal touches. He added a potted plant to bring a bit of nature indoors, hung a photo frame on the wall, and purchased the largest dog bed he could find to ensure her comfort. Although the bed wasn't big enough for him to share, he didn't mind continuing to sleep on the floor. His priority was Queen's happiness. Recognizing that she needed a break from the shelter's confines, Scott decided to take Queen on a special outing. One afternoon, he secured permission to take her off-site. They embarked on a little adventure to a local ice cream shop. Queen delighted in a small cup of vanilla ice cream, 
her tail wagging enthusiastically. The simple pleasure of tasting a new treat and experiencing a change of scenery lifted her spirits noticeably. Back at the shelter, Scott attempted to keep up with his work responsibilities using his laptop. However, he quickly realized that Queen craved his full attention. Whenever he tried to focus on emails or administrative tasks, she would nudge his hand or rest her head on his lap. Embracing the opportunity to bond, Scott set aside his work to engage with her fully. They played with toys, enjoyed leisurely walks around the shelter grounds, and spent quiet moments simply enjoying each other's company. As the days passed, the story of Scott and Queen continued to gain momentum. Major news outlets picked up the narrative, amplifying its reach. People from across the country, and even internationally, were captivated by their journey. The increased exposure led to a spike in adoption inquiries, not just for Queen but for other animals at the shelter as well. Finally, after several nights of sleeping on the shelter floor, Scott received the news he had been hoping for. A woman named Tony, who had been following their story closely, felt a deep connection to Queen. She reached out to the shelter, eager to meet her. Arrangements were made, and when Tony visited, it was clear that she and Queen were a perfect match. Queen greeted her with a wagging tail and affectionate nuzzles, as if sensing that this could be her new family. On the day of Queen's adoption, the shelter staff gathered to bid her farewell. It was a joyous occasion filled with smiles and tears at happiness. Queen walked out of the shelter beside Tony, her head held high and her eyes bright with anticipation. Scott watched them go with a mix of pride and emotion. His mission had been accomplished. Before leaving, Tony graciously spoke with the media, expressing her gratitude to Scott and the shelter staff. She shared her excitement about giving Queen a loving home and encouraged others to consider adopting shelter animals. Photographers captured images of Queen settling into the backseat of Tony's car, ready to embark on her new life. With Queen's adoption finalized, Scott prepared to return home. He packed up his belongings, reflecting on the experience. Although he was relieved at the prospect of sleeping in his own bed again, he felt a deep sense of fulfillment. His unconventional approach had made a real difference, not only in Queen's life, but also in raising awareness about the challenges faced by long-term shelter residents. In interviews following the adoption, Scott spoke candidly about his time at the shelter. I wouldn't want to do this every week, he admitted with a laugh. But for the right animal and the right situation, I'd absolutely do it again. He emphasized that his actions were driven by a desire to inspire others to take action, whether by adopting, volunteering, or supporting shelters in other ways. Queen's transition into her new home was seamless. Tony shared updates with the shelter, sending photos of Queen exploring her backyard, lounging on a comfortable bed, and enjoying snuggle time on the couch. The happiness radiating from Queen was evident in every image. She had found the loving family she deserved, and her days of loneliness were behind her. Scott continued his work with Mission Driven, using Queen's story as a catalyst to promote adoption and support for shelters. He highlighted the fact that many animals like Queen struggle to find homes the longer they remain in shelters. Potential adopters often overlook them, assuming that extended stays indicate behavioral issues or health problems. Scott aimed to dispel these misconceptions by sharing stories of wonderful animals who simply needed a chance. He also advocated for adopting rather than purchasing pets from breeders or pet stores. Scott pointed out that millions of animals end up in shelters each year, and by choosing to adopt, people could save lives and help combat overpopulation. Additionally, adopting from shelters often includes the benefit of animals that are already spayed or neutered, vaccinated, and health-checked, making the transition into a new home smoother. Scott's dedication inspired many within the community. Donations to local shelters increased, and more people volunteered their time to help care for the animals. Other long-term residents began to find homes as well, as the heightened awareness led to a surge in adoptions. The ripple effect of Scott's actions demonstrated the profound impact that one person's commitment could have on a broader scale.
Reflecting on the experience, Scott shared that the most rewarding aspect was seeing Queen thrive in her new environment. Knowing that she's happy and loved makes it all worthwhile, he said. He encouraged others to consider how they might contribute to improving the lives of shelter animals, whether through adoption, fostering, volunteering, or supporting fundraising efforts. Queen's story also highlighted the importance of mental health for shelter animals. Prolonged stays can lead to depression and behavioral issues, which in turn make adoption even more challenging. By providing companionship and enrichment, shelters can help maintain the well-being of these animals, increasing their chances of finding homes. Scott advocated for programs that focus on socialization, training, and mental stimulation to enhance the quality of life for shelter residents. As for Queen, her days were now filled with joy and adventure. Tony reported that she was adjusting beautifully, delighting in daily walks, playtime, and plenty of affection. Queen had become a beloved member of the family, her previous hardships now a distant memory. Scott's experience living in the shelter with Queen served as a powerful testament to the difference one person can make. His willingness to step outside of conventional methods and directly address the needs of a single animal captured the hearts of many and sparked meaningful change. It underscored the idea that compassion and creativity can overcome obstacles and lead to positive outcomes. In the months that followed, Scott continued to explore innovative ways to support shelter animals. He organized community events, partnered with local businesses for fundraisers, and expanded mission-driven's reach through social media campaigns. His efforts contributed to a growing movement that emphasized the value of rescue animals and the importance of humane treatment for all creatures. Queen's story became a source of inspiration, not just locally but also for animal advocates around the world. It reminded people that behind every shelter animal is a unique individual with a capacity for love and companionship. By sharing these stories, advocates like Scott aim to shift public perception and encourage more people to open their homes to animals in need. In conclusion, the tale of Scott and Queen is a heartwarming example of how dedication and empathy can transform lives. It showcases the impact of going beyond traditional approaches to solve problems and the importance of raising awareness about issues that matter. Scott's journey with Queen serves as a beacon of hope, illustrating that with perseverance and kindness, we can make a difference, one animal at a time.